Rare French Bulldog colors and predicting color pairings. Let's have a look at how it all comes together. Hey everyone, Justin here with Blue Frenchables and today we're going to have a look at how rare colors combine and how you can predict which colors will be displayed on a French Bulldog litter. But before we get into the colors, it's important to know how color genes are passed from the parents. In the simplest terms, every Frenchie is made up of a two-part gene system that is responsible for well, anything from brain function to color coat and everything in between. Each gene is completed by receiving one copy from mom and one copy from dad. In the case of coat color, a pup will need a matching set of genes from both parents to display that color. If it only receives one copy, they are known as carriers. You will see color coding referred to in a few different ways, but it's usually represented as a capital letter indicating the dog is negative for the gene and a small letter indicating the dog carries the gene. Each copy is separated by a slash. In the case of the brown gene, two lowercase b's separated by a slash would indicate the dog carries two copies of the brown gene, which means the dog is going to display that color in its coat. In the case of two capital B's separated by a slash, the dog would not carry the brown gene at all and it would be impossible to produce offspring showing that color. Now if the dog shows a lowercase b and an uppercase b in either order, that would indicate the dog carries only one copy of the gene. The brown color would not appear in its coat, but it would pass along copies of the brown gene to 50% of its offspring. Continuing with the example of brown and returning to visibly brown Frenchies, they are again represented as little b, little b, as it carries both copies of the color gene. When it comes to reproduction, it will pass along a copy of brown to all of its offspring, and if this dog is mated with another visibly brown Frenchie, every dog will be born with a complete pairing of the little b brown gene, and they will also show that color. A carrier, again represented as little b, big b, will only pass along the brown gene 50% of the time. So when paired with a visibly brown dog, which would be carrying two copies, you will only produce that color half of the time. If you pair two carriers together, the odds are multiplied together and it would give you a 25% chance of producing a dog that has two copies of the color. This type of two pairing system holds true across other various color genes such as blue, cocoa and cream. If a dog carries two copies of multiple colors, you'll end up getting different combinations or find one color dominating the other. In the case of a dog with two copies of blue and two copies of cream, the cream gene will dominate and white is pretty much all you'll see. In other instances, the Frenchie will produce more rare colors such as Isabella, Lilac and Platinum. A lilac occurs when a dog carries two copies of blue and two copies of cocoa. An Isabella requires two copies of brown and two copies of blue. And a platinum occurs when a dog carries two copies of cocoa, two copies of blue, and two copies of cream. There are more subsets of these colors, but any visible change in the Frenchie will only happen when the Frenchie carries both sets of the color genes. It's worth mentioning that the color naming conventions may be confusing as colors will be referred to in different ways depending on your source of information. For instance, the brown gene we've referenced in our example would be known better as the B locus as it would appear on a DNA test or chocolate or testable chocolate in the Frenchie breeding community. The blue gene would also be better known as the dilute gene or the D locus. Once you understand the basics, you'll be in a much better position to grasp the different terminology. When we dive deeper into various pairings, you'll also find that different attributes such as brindling and merles will break away from the traditional two gene pairing requirements that we've talked about and will only require one copy of the gene to create a different look altogether. We'll look at this deeper in another video. So until then, thanks for watching. Please be sure to subscribe for some more awesome Frenchie videos and let us know what you think in the comments.